Um, I'm a sophomore and I'm planning on studying finance and management with a minor in Spanish at BSB. Um, and I'm here to represent the council president's executive board, um, which is made up of one representative of the senior, junior, and sophomore class. Um, I'm the sophomore vice president of the council of presidents. Tara Judge is the senior vice president and Caitlin Sai is the junior vice president. So we work with the presidents from each of the VSB student business societies to foster coordination and collaboration among the different business societies here at VSB. Um, throughout the year, the Council of Presidents will work with the O'Donnell Center of Professional Development to strengthen society involvement with VSB and ultimately increase VSB's visibility outside of the school. So if you're a sophomore or older, you may have seen us hold the waffle fundraiser for Nova Dance in Bartley. We're here as a resource for you. So if you guys need any help or have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me, Caitlin, Tara, or Michelle at any time. So with that, um, I wanna pass it over to Alpha. Great, hi guys. So my name's Andres, I'm a junior in BSB. I'm a finance major. I'm the VP for Alpha. Um, I'm just gonna share my screen. Okay, so today I'm representing Alpha. Alpha stands for Association Latino Professionals for America. Uh, we are the Villanova chapter. There are chapters on most universities uh, throughout the country. Uh, at Alpha, what we strive to do is we're really dedicated to empowering uh, people of color, um, but we also want to promote diversity and inclusion on campus. Um, and also promote the different opportunities that Alpha has to offer at the national and regional levels. Um, so Alpha does offer some internships with their partners. Um, they do also offer internships um, themselves. Uh, so we do promote that as a club. Um, also, we, we do look for networking opportunities. Um, so we look to network with um, Alpha professionals or um, professionals that are within Alpha's partners, and we look to create events in order to connect our students here at Villanova to those professionals uh, through those events. Um, and, but most importantly, as I said, uh, we're really looking to promote diversity and inclusion, uh, particularly given the, uh, the climate today. Uh, uh, here are a few of the partners that um, that are associated with Alpha. You have a, a few of the big four. You have EY, PwC, Deloitte. Um, you have Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, um, Wells Fargo, a few investment banks. Uh, you have credit rating agencies, Moody's. Um, firsthand experience, I could say that um, I did uh, the regional symposium and also the national convention. I was actually able to uh, really network and interact with different hir hiring managers at these different organizations and had an interview had an opportunity to interview um, at these places because uh, because of alpha and the access that they give us and the different opportunities um, so uh, definitely a really good resource to take advantage of the uh, regional and also the national conventions with that I wanted to really promote the different uh, events that we have going on on campus uh, so we had one simultaneous go, uh, going along with this, uh, which was the Deloitte Diversity Day. Um, uh, we're also planning out our Hispanic Heritage Month kickoff. Uh, we have the EY Diverse Leaders Panel uh, early next month, which uh, we partnered with EY for them to bring in um, some professionals, which would be a great networking opportunity, and also to learn more about their different practices within Ernest & Young. Uh, Similarly, we also had another event with PwC, and then uh, towards the end of the semester, we have uh, a networking event uh, with different Latinx and uh, Black alumni panel from Villanova to also really network and build that connection. Um, and again, I just wanted to promote the uh, virtual convention uh, that I was a part of. Typically, it's, uh, it either takes place in a major city like Las Vegas or Nashville, but given the circumstances, it was virtual, but um, still another great opportunity to, to go network, uh, interview with some companies. And uh, if you're fortunate enough, you're able to uh, uh, get extended an offer uh, with one of their partner organizations. 
Um, and lastly, I mean, I, I just wanted to really emphasize how, um, you know, we, we are a young student organization and we're continuing to grow. So hopefully you guys could join us. Um, you have our Instagram account there that you could follow. Um, and you also have the QR code here, um, but, which uh, will send you to the student registration and you could just answer a few questions there and get uh, registered with, the, with Alpha. Um, uh, but that's all I have for today. Um, thank you for your time. And I will pass it back to uh, Sophia. Um, thanks so much. So does anybody have any questions? They can submit it through the chat if they do. Um, okay, so throughout the ent entire um, Spotlight series tonight, you guys can be submitting questions. Um, but if you have no questions right now, we're going to move on to the Multicultural Business Association next. Hi, I'm actually secretary of MCBA, so I'll like share this, um, the slides on the screen. Actually, Arushi, I can, I can share it. Can everyone see my screen? Arushi, can you hear me? Yeah. I said, I can, I can share it. Okay. Can everyone see that? Okay, cool. Um, so just to guys, just to give you guys a, a background, my name is Greg. Uh, I'm currently a senior within the Villanova School of Business. Uh, I studied finance and with a real estate co-major. Um, so just to give you guys an overview of what MCBA is, MCBA stands for the Multicultural Business Association. Um, and our core about really ideally we're really dedicated towards providing like different opportunities and professional um, opportunities for everyone um, there are a lot of different student organizations that cater to a specific need within um, whether it's like um, gender or race um, but we're open to everybody and we definitely try to fill the gap of everyone else in between um, so when, when we talk about multicultural when we talk about what it means to be multicultural it means um, not necessarily just like finance or accounting, but um, but different uh, majors and, and people from different backgrounds all coming together for a common um, goal for excellence. Um, Arushi, did you want to go through our um, core values? Yeah, so these are our core values. So our first core value is professional excellence. So that means being recognized for your ability to synthesize a range of transferable skills, professional excellence, and not specific to major industry, but critical to success across our profession. So we're basically um, finding ways to learn how to be more professional and get ready for um, the workspace. So that's like one of our core values. And um, through being part of our club and attending our events, we kind of focus on ways to grow um, our ability to be professional. Another one of our core values is intellectual curiosity. So we're always finding ways to kind of broaden our range of different careers and kind of um, calling people and um, professionals that come from not just like your basic finance and like your like normal careers, but finding some unconventional careers that um, some people may be interested in within business. So we're always trying to be curious and thinking outside of the box to um, cater to our um, members. Another one of our core values is service. So um, service is work done by one individual for another. It is essential that we make a habit of giving back by assisting, inspiring, mentoring others. So a lot of our upperclassmen help the members in MCBA, um, give them tips. So one of the first events we have every semester um, is we kind of have like, we order food and we um, encourage incoming, um, encourage freshmen to come and kind of ask any questions they have um, about the business school, about the classes they're taking. And this is a way that a lot of our upperclassmen give back to um, 
our freshmen and sophomore in the club. And our last core value is diversity. Um, it is what makes MCBA thrive and stand out among other societies because we embrace, sorry, we embrace diversity in everything and every and anything they do. So um, we're really about um, catering to all different types of backgrounds and diversities and we welcome um, everyone in MCBA. So this is just uh, to um, highlight some of the people that are on our current exec board. So like I said before, my name is Greg and I serve as the president, but in total we have um, six people on our executive team. Um, this year we're going through a little bit of a transitional period. Um, and so right now we're planning our building generational wealth series, which is kind of dedicated towards as a college student, um, there's going to be some high leverage uh, terminology thrown, out, uh, thrown at you over the course of your college career. Um, and, but we kind of want to give you an overview of like, if you want to start building your wealth or you want to start building, um, building like, just like building your business acumen, um, whether it's through like real estate investments or just investing in general, what does that look like tangibly? Um, so we're building that right now in our first series is um, building real estate. So right now we're working with the real estate society to get uh, a firm date on when to go about moving forward. That's um, for right now, that's, um, that, that's kind of our overview of what MCBA is. Um, if you guys want, definitely want to learn more, I'm definitely gonna stay on so you can um, message me privately and I'm definitely looking forward to hearing some of your questions. Thank you. Okay, thanks so much guys. So if anyone wants to message any of them privately or you can ask it to the group, um, but I'll give you guys a minute if you have any questions. Um, and then we can move on to women in business. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? Okay, awesome. I'm just gonna to present the things blocking it. Okay, we're just gonna go through it like this because it's blocking the present button. But you can all see the slides, right? Okay, awesome. So I'm Lauren. Um, I'm one of the co-presidents of Women in Business. So a little bit about us. Um, we were founded in 2005. Our goal is to create opportunities for learning to expose our members to various areas of business and growth to help women prepare for the issues they may face in the business world. So we have quite a wide variety of events throughout the semester for all of our members to attend. These can include panel events, discussions, roundtables, skill sessions, networking events, and also casual member events where you just get to bond and talk to some upperclassmen or people that aren't necessarily in the same year as you. We bring in um, a wide variety of companies to host these events and co-host and sponsor them. So we really get a wide range of different industries and companies through our different events. Um, in order to stay in good standing with women in business, our requirements are a little adjusted and relaxed this semester, given that everything is virtual. So the requirements are one woman in business sponsored event, which means that this is an event that a company will co-host that we will um, sponsor and that will be, that information will be given in our weekly emails. So one of those, there's quite a bit of them. So only one is required, one general body meeting and our POW virtual conference, which we will get into in a few slides. That is our largest event and the main gist of POW is every semester, every year we have one large conference with a keynote speaker and panelists and it centrals around one main theme that changes every year. Um, and we have speakers that talk about that in from different companies um, about this one main theme. So for example, this year's theme is consulting. So that will be the central theme of the POW conference and it will really expose you to a bunch of different industries and um, companies about that particular theme. So our Instagram is also right here if you want to follow us and our email if you ever need any questions answered. 
here are some of our events, just to give some examples of an, a woman in business sponsored event, which is required to be in good standing policy. So we have, this was um, just a few examples. We may not have all of these, or we definitely switch it up every semester, but these were the events that we had last semester. So I'm not gonna read through all of them, but you can see there's a wide variety of events from casual events with just members, um, and also networking events, which are more professional. So there's definitely a wide variety of events that will expose all of our members to different areas and different types of professional events. I also listed a few companies that we work with that weren't in the um, events that were here as examples. So just to demonstrate, we have like a very wide variety from big four firms, banking firms like Goldman, um, consulting groups, marketing companies. So it's really a wide range of industries so that everybody can find something that they're studying or interested in um, and learn a lot from different events. Going back to POW, um, this is a, these pictures were taken at POW last year. So the theme was about the entertaining, entertainment industry and we partnered with Villanova's entertainment group. That's also something that Women in Business does quite frequently. We'll partner with other groups on campus, whether it's Villanova's consulting group or any of the other business societies. We try to interact with them and co-host events with them as well. So this is an example of POW. As you can see, we have our keynote there, um, panelists, and this year, obviously, it will be virtual, but just an example for what our large POW conference is. Lastly, I just wanted to touch on the Women in Business Network. So this is a really awesome feature of being in Women in Business Society. It gives you access to all Women in Business alumni and current students of all years. And it provides you with a network of people that have interned or maybe working at specific jobs or at specific companies that you may be interested in. We have a large spreadsheet and network that can easily get you in contact with women in business members or alumni so that you can reach out to them with any questions or ask for advice. So it really keeps everybody together and serves as a really great resource. Um, that's it for me. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, um, I'll hand it back to Sophia. Um, thanks so much, guys. So we're, that's the end of the Spotlight series for tonight, but if anybody still has any additional questions, um, we're all gonna, all the presidents of the different societies are gonna stay on, so you can ask us just for a couple more minutes after, but thanks so much, guys, for coming. <laughs>